Well, for more on this, Sarah Pierce, a policy analyst at the Migration Policy Institute, joins us now from Washington. Sarah, thanks so much for coming in on the show. So, two courts, one in Washington, D.C., the other one in San Francisco, gave completely opposite decisions on the same topic. So help us understand what's going on here. That's right. The judges in these cases just perceived the situation differently. The one in D.C. decided that the advocates who were bringing the case hadn't argued that they'd be harmed enough by the regulation to justify suspending it while these proceedings were going on. Meanwhile, in San Francisco, he definitely the, that judge definitely thought that there was enough harm going on, and he uh, questioned the legality of this new asylum bar. So he decided that it should be suspended. And his decision actually applies nationwide. So the administration cannot apply this bar right now. So Sarah, this rule the Trump administration is pushing for, does it have any legal basis on international law? I think it's very problematic when it comes to international law. Under this rule, we would be deporting individuals who might qualify for asylum in the United States but had failed to apply for asylum on their journey to the United States, and we'd be deporting them back to the countries from which they can. This very likely violates a very um, set tenet of international law called non refoulement where you're not, you cannot deport people back to countries where they face persecution. So it's no surprise that it did end up having trouble in our court system. So is this rule going to deter the asylum seekers from coming to the U.S. border? If the administration was permitted or, or is eventually permitted to apply the rule border-wide at the southern border, I do think it would deter asylum seekers because the majority of them would not be able to stay in the United States. Rather, they'd be facing deportation back to their home countries. So if asylum seekers are contemplating a journey to the U.S. border and they think that they're more likely than not going to be deported just back to where they came from, it does seem like it would likely deter them. But it seems like there's a good chance that this administration will never get the chance to apply it. Sarah Pierce, thanks so much for that. A policy analyst at the Immigration Policy.